On a good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collip. A big congrats is in order to Bob Akivery High School in Sells, Arizona. The group of basketballers from the heart of the Tohono O'odham Nation made a run all the way to the state championship game. And now, in celebration of the boys' basketball's magical season, there'll be a big parade this Friday. You are looking at footage of the last town parade back in 2019 when the girls basketball team from Bob Akivery High School made it all the way to the state championship game as well and finished with a record of 31 wins and just two losses. The parade for the boys team will begin at 2.45 p.m. on Friday on Main Street and end at the Tohono O'odham Legislative Building in the heart of sales. The Warriors fell to North Valley Christian in the state title game, but still finished with 21 victories and just six losses. In order to punch their way to the state championship game, the Bob Akivery boys knocked off their 1A state rival, St. David High School from Cochise County in the final four. We at KVUA were present during the 2019 parade, and we are definitely looking forward to this week as well as the celebration and success of the boys team continues strong. Congrats again to Bob Akivery High School. As mentioned, I'll be in cells on Friday in the heart of the Tohono O'odham Nation at the big celebration, and we hope to see you there as well. All right, moving on, you may know the name of former Arizona basketball standout Zeke Naji, who now plays for the Denver Nuggets, and now his sister is also making a name for herself on Coach Adia Barnes' women's basketball team. And get this, the Boys and Girls Club of Tucson will be hosting the U of A women's basketball player Maya Naji on Monday at the Jim and Vicky Click Club on South Columbus Boulevard. Here is the Arizona Wildcats very own Maya Naji when I chatted with her about her love for not only basketball but getting involved with the community. In this particular case, Naji will be making a Duncan run for Tucson Youth. As a member of Team Duncan, she'll visit the kiddos at the Boys and Girls Club for some hoops and snacks. Duncan Donuts will be shared with the kids while Maya Naji also gives a pep talk to all of her fans. Monday's program begins at 4 p.m. Moving on, after a successful weekend with Major League Soccer teams continuing their training here in the old Pueblo at the Kino Sports Complex, FC Tucson is also gearing up for its upcoming season. And now the USL League 2 has released its schedule. FC Tucson will open the season at home against a team to be announced later on May 5th. And what a way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo with FC Tucson. And on May 13th, as the boys from the old Pueblo will have their first road game and travel to Southern California's Riverside County to take on Redlands FC. Hey, and finally, we have already seen the 2023 football schedule for Coach Jed Fish and company, and now it's being announced the Red-Blue Spring Football Scrimmage will be on Saturday, April 15th at Arizona Stadium. So mark your calendars, my friends. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala. Let's go ahead and send it over to Matt Brode, who's chilling like a villain and I really do mean chilling because it's pretty cold right it is pretty cold uh, Paul winds will keep temperatures up to the uh, upper 30s tonight but that is chilly breezy tomorrow 56 winds will really slacken tomorrow night and that's why we'll get down to freezing cold early Friday morning 68 on Friday more sunshine Ooh. back to the 70s on Saturday but then I'll tell you, another winter storm rolls right in by Sunday. 60% chance of rain, breezy again. And then early Monday morning, another freezing night, potentially 32, 63 on Monday, 68 on Tuesday. And every time we try to get this momentum for a warm-up, it's like we get another system, another one by Wednesday, 20% chance of rain again. Yeah, so well. roller coaster, <laughs> up and down. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us. Inside Edition is next. We'll see you right back here at 10.